Sleeping medications are used to help individuals who have difficulty in falling asleep or staying asleep on their own. In general, they act by working in the brain to slow down the nervous system, causing the mind and body to relax so a person can fall asleep. In Malaysia, insomnia is very common among adult population. In 2012, 33.8% of the general population were reported to have insomnia symptoms and 12.2% had chronic insomnia. There are a few examples of commonly used prescription sleeping pills in Malaysia. For example, Dazepam and Midazolam. They belong to a class of drugs called benzodiazepines, which are hypnotic or sedative drugs giving a calming effect on the brain and nerves. On the other hand, Zolpidem is a Z-drug which gives similar effects as the benzodiazepines. However, the Z-drug is said to be more effective, safer in elderly, producing less tolerance, addiction and dependence. There is an increasing number of people taking these sleep medications either through prescription from doctor or online sources. The scary part is they use them in potentially harmful ways. For example, by taking them more often or longer than recommended, this can cause dependence and addiction, but most of them do not realize it. Most probably, they are not aware of the signs and symptoms of sleeping pills addiction. Prescription sleeping pills are only available with a prescription from a doctor. People who are addicted to it might get it from online sources. Besides, they might start to visit different doctors. Even some pharmacies do sell them illegally. Hence, the rampant accessibility of prescription sleeping medications causes difficulty in identifying people with sleeping pills addiction. Something you need to know about sleeping pills. Sleeping pills should be used for short term only as they may lose their effects after a while. This is because the body already gets used to the medicine. When used for a longer period, they may find the dose is not sufficient to give the desired effect and they might end up taking more than the prescribed dose. This can lead to physical dependence and psychological dependence, especially when taken for a long time in higher dose. Physical dependence happens when we become dependent on those drugs and rely on them to carry out normal functions. We will experience withdrawal symptoms when suddenly stopping or reducing their use. However, psychological dependence is preferred as addiction where people have strong and persistent urge to use the medication despite negative consequences. When this happens, it may be difficult for them to stop taking the medications as they usually do not realize they have become dependent or possibly addicted to their sleeping medications until they stop taking it. Those become addicted to their sleeping pills may exhibit symptoms such as needing a larger dose to fall asleep, craving for sleeping pills, inability to quit, mood swings, experiencing withdrawal symptoms when stopped using, and have an impact on the quality of life including relationships and employment. What should you do if you are taking sleeping pills and having the symptoms mentioned above? Seek medical help from the healthcare professionals. Do not stop the medication abruptly as you may experience withdrawal symptoms. How can you manage sleeping pills addiction? Gradually reduce the dose of sleeping pills with guidance from the healthcare professionals. Practicing some tips to sleep better. These include relaxation techniques such as meditation, exercise regularly, and recognizing and avoiding the stimuli that prevent sleep such as television, computer, or smartphone screens. Improving sleep hygiene by blocking as much noise and light as possible. Go to bed and wake up at the same times daily. And dietary changes such as avoiding alcohol, caffeine, and foods that promote acid indigestion. Intervention from professionals. For example, cognitive behavioral therapy, psychotherapy, that treats problems by modifying negative thoughts, emotions, and patterns of behavior.